Hey, good morning, you guys. Saturday morning. Hey, it's stormy. It's, uh, it just changed, you know, like it always does here overnight. We got snow. It's not snow, it's foam. Let's look, see how the foam comes blowing? So we have uh, 20 to 25 foot waves this morning, three times overhead out the back way out there you can see see that breaking and you have all this white foam coming up and you have really high tides this morning it's actually just now receding it was up so high just I don't know 10 minutes ago that it was all the way up where see where the, the phone line is this line of foam it's where the water was just I don't know 10 minutes ago 15 minutes ago then I stopped because I came upon this boat chair that was sitting here so I was walking along here this morning doing my morning thing and it was like this it was like that and I said oh shit that's a boat chair look at that that's kind of a nice boat chair what the heck I was like okay well let's flip it up and it's supposed to rain in a couple hours and maybe that'll the rain will uh, if will wash all this off this boat chair and then uh, this is a perfect seat for somebody right but look at all this trash you know this is just all busted up pieces of wood that came out of the ocean this morning Let, let, let me show you this this foam up close. Look at it. We'll come over here to this big pieces of foam. Next over where this fisherman is. He's fishing. Look at this stuff. It moves. Look at it. It's just uh, churned up salt water. It's foam, you guys. Have you guys ever seen ocean foam undulating on the on the seashore before look at it it's undulating no kill eye it does it kind of looks like a alien life form doesn't it i mean it does to me in a weird way it's just, really it's just foam being blown to the wind but look what happens as soon as you touch it then you end up with this shit all over your hands Oh boy, here it comes. Look at it. See, look at it all. Look at all this foam. Yuck. Windy and cold this morning. It's about 55 degrees, which is about 5 degrees cooler than typical. Usually it's about 60 degrees. Just colder this morning. Uh, some wind. High tide, big waves. <sighs> Excuse me. Look at this. I think we can climb up here without slipping. It's going to be wet. It's really slippery. Jeez, look at this. It's been a long time since that has been uncovered I'm telling you guys this this uh, cement pipe right here has been under the sand for years it really has it's been a long time since this has been like this usually this is under sand see this that's usually underneath sand like all the time it's been years since I've seen it unburied look at it all this big piece right here is new. This right here, I just saw it a couple days ago. It's not new overnight. It was here a couple days ago. But this huge chunk of wood with all this metal in it, look at this thing. This came out of the ocean, I don't know, a couple days ago? Look at it. What is this from? This beam, this big reinforcement beam. Is this off of a ship, you think? Holy crap, look at that thing. It looks like, okay, so this is metal, you guys. How the hell? It's a metal beam. No, no, it's not. What is that? Is it wood and then it's painted with something? Because no way could this be metal and come in from the, and come in. 
I have no clue, you guys. I've never seen this piece before. I mean, other than a couple days ago, it wasn't here before. Was this buried and then unburied? How the hell did it get up here? It's got to weigh like 2,000 pounds. It really is heavy. Because this is metal. What is inside? It's got barnacles inside of it. Look. It's got water and barnacles in there. These are fresh barnacles. Oh, see, we pop one. These guys are alive. Hmm. So there's living barnacles in there. This definitely came out of the ocean. Obviously, I mean, where else is it going to come from? Anyway. <sighs> Storm surge. Brought all this stuff to our beach. Everybody's having a nice uh, New Year's. Look at this big piece of palm tree. I uh, hope everybody's having a nice New Year's. Um, so far, the first week, I guess, of the New Year just kind of came to an end. And this will be the first weekend. I guess football's almost over. All of this wood, like I've mentioned before, and that it's possible that you're completely new to this channel. All this wood came out of the ocean. It's not from this beach. It's from points north. The water moves like in a, in a uh, circular fashion like I'm doing, you know, clockwise, and it goes into the San Francisco Bay, which is right over there. And the what, what current that doesn't make it into the bay comes this way, comes south, and it smashes and, and drags all of this wood that came from way out there from the north side of the bay, the mountains that you can't see, and it drags all this wood. Now, I call it trash. Well, you know, it's not really trash, though there is trash mixed in here. It's mostly just debris organic debris from mountain sides that are getting crashed with large waves and this stuff is getting dragged down into the ocean and then it gets pushed here by the uh, the current and the tides and the swell depending on the size of the swell uh, depends on how much debris will end up on our beach now this didn't always used to be like this it only started a couple years ago in the years before, a couple of years ago, there was a good 10 years of this being a pretty much a clear, clean beach with not a lot of wood on it. Past two years, we've had two large king tides. King tides that are just large, I mean, really high tides and big waves that brings all this stuff here. There's so much of it here now that, and, and in you know years past, it was always illegal to have fires here on this beach, but now because there's so much wood and debris, you're allowed to have fires here. They made it, uh, the city said, okay, you can burn wood on Ocean Beach. So that's what's up. What a beautiful dog this is. He's absolutely beautiful. But you can see it's just this wood everywhere. You can make a giant bonfire here. Although, you know, you have to wait till low tide and at the end of the day, so at least some of this moisture, you know, seeps out though somehow all this this stuff does still burn I guess you get enough wood together even if it's wet and it'll burn a long time a lot of this so you'll you know anyway I don't want to talk about it. oh this is kind of a nice spot right here it's not bad But in the past, this whole, everything we're looking at here used to just be like white sand. There didn't used to be all this crap in it. Uh, it a couple years ago, maybe five years ago, we had a couple summers that were really hot. Very hot summers. And uh, a lot of clean 
smooth, clear waves with no white water. So when it gets like that, the weather's warm and the waves are perfect for surfing or snorkeling or anything in the water, just playing in the water. This place used to just be packed with people, like girls in bikinis and little kids with uh, sand shovels. Used to be how it always was. But not so much the last couple years. The weather hasn't really been very um, cooperative in that area. And as you can see now, there's so much crap down here. I wouldn't want to put my toddler down here or my kids, let them play around in the shit. It's just dirty, man. But this used to be all just nothing but smooth sand with none of this crap in it. You can see there's, there's no trees, there's no plants here other than the, the ice plant and the seaweed that you see right here growing. This is it. Uh, otherwise, all this stuff gets dragged here from other locations. <gasps> Excuse me. There's a huge amount this morning. This is all, I mean, it's not all new, but this uh, grouping, this grouping here that you see, it starts right about here. This grouping of wood, all uh, concentrated here over the night, last, since last night. All this wood got dragged right to this spot by the current and the tide. See how much of it there is and how big the chunks are. This was all underwater this morning. As you can see the high tide line. Here's how you can tell the high tide. So see the line of debris that goes like right here? We'll walk along it. This is how, tide, how high the tide came up this morning. How far the water was up at about probably about seven this morning. It was about, it was here. So that's where the water ends came all the way up to here. We would have been dry if we were walking right here. But all this got dragged into this one spot because of the current or just the way it all played out. It doesn't always happen this way, but this spot this morning is completely inundated with shit. With crap. With wood. Seaweed. Little pieces of foam and plastic are mixed in with all of this busted up shells of all different types, uh, wood from everywhere. Some of it looks like it came, comes off of uh, ships and boats, and some of it looks like it comes out of a, a lumber yard. A lot of times it, it'll be telephone poles. Then look at all this stuff. Imagine how strong the ocean would have to be and how strong the ocean is to carry all this thousands of pounds of wood soaked wood soaked in water a lot of this wasn't even floating on the top of the ocean it would have been like submerged in the current and in the swell completely soaked with water and just pushed here not just like floating on top but just a shit ton of it and then now imagine like trying to negotiate or navigate out there as a diver or a snorkeler, as a surfer, or as a bodyboarder, trying to navigate and and not get impaled by some of this wood. So that's why you know this this weather does affect the beach. A lot of people want to go surfing here every day. It makes it difficult when you have chunks of trees floating in the lineup. tide watermark right here from what I was just telling you guys about see it's even foam all the way up here still foam up here that hasn't gone away from like two hours ago when the water was up all the way up here sometimes people uh, bring little bags to pick up their dogs poo and then they set the bags of poo down and then they forget about the poo bags and then the poo bags just stay there and then the water comes and takes them away and I think the 
that plastic the poo bags are made of is biodegradable anyway. But this is all new. What you're looking at, this channel was created by giant waves about a week ago. It messed up this whole trail right here. And so they started at the top and they smoothed it out because it was flooding the street. And then they opened it up and then the water really kind of opened up and created this channel. And this used to all be flat all the way up here. But the water went up and got stuck up there. So then they dug a little bit and then it created the channel to release the water. That was last week that that happened. Somebody rearranged the spot. This was really messed up for a while. Everything was kicked over and knocked down. Somebody recently came and reset everything so it's a perfectly flat surface. I'm gonna, hamana, hamana, hamana. We're gonna set you right here. I know there's people, some, there's, there are people that watch the videos that enjoy the beach. They enjoy just uh, listening to the beach and seeing what it looks like. Not so much listening to me talk, but, but that. Now it is very loud out here this morning. I forgot, forgot to mention that. It's louder here this morning than usual because of the big waves and the wind. Dang, the wind is so strong it knocked you guys completely over. Obviously. All right. I hope I'm not too annoying with this one. Sorry about the wind, guys. That was kind of cool watching those ravens land. Haven't seen that in a long time. This little cement curb been buried by the sand for years and years. This? <laughs> this has been buried for years. So they have the highway closed this morning. There's bicyclists and joggers. They don't do this every weekend, but they do do it sometimes. Depending on the weather, time of the year, that sort of thing. A lot of times if it's really windy or the waves are really big, they'll close the highway if, it, if, if it's suspected that the water's gonna, that the tide's gonna wash over the highway and then also wash sand onto the highway because after the water recedes, 
they don't want people driving on it until they try and clear it off like they have like a like a sand plow because people can slide on it and get into wrecks um, if people don't know how to drive in sand on top of cement or asphalt they'll drive fast and they'll put on the brakes and then if they put on their brakes in the sand they'll slide and they, they'll bump into each other and cause collisions so that's the reason why they don't let the sand stay on the highway Excuse me. Oh, we're doing some landscaping this morning on a Saturday, too. This was super overgrown. It looks really good. Thank you guys, it looks good. Thank you. This is the bar, I'm cleaning out the bar this morning. Very quiet morning for Saturday. You know, reflecting of reflective of the weather. There's no sun. This time yesterday it was uh, clear blue skies, like like not a cloud in the sky, and probably five or ten degrees warmer. You know, I shot a video last night 